it's inspiring and it's uh, it's it's what I believe in. And uh, honestly, I, I thought um, I thought America forgot how to protest. Occupy, by definition, to be a resident of or dwell in, a simple enough word. Yet somehow, on September 17, 2011, this word developed a much deeper meaning. Taking New York City's Zuccotti Park by storm, protesters occupied or took up residence of Wall Street. This group had relatively simple demands. Take money out of politics. Elect politicians based on merit, not the size of their coin purse. Within weeks, the movement had spread nationwide with protests in Oakland, California, Tampa, Florida, and Atlanta, Georgia. Each city had its own demands, but all of them took root in the essential message of equality and fair treatment. In our current economy, 1% of Americans controls 42% of the wealth, a grossly disproportionate distribution of money. Protesters often take to the city, marching down streets and occupying public parks. Most Occupy movements convene locally every day in meetings called General Assemblies. In these assemblies, the occupiers propose possible courses of action, discuss politics and the economy, and participate in a process called direct democracy, where no one person is in charge of the assembly. The protesters attest that this is the most effective way to assemble and encourage local governments and organizations to do the same. The movement has been met with some harsh criticism, however, as some politicians and talk show personalities ridicule and insult the protesters. Police have not been easy on the protesters either. Seen here are Occupy Oakland marchers getting tear gassed and shot with rubber bullets. While not everyone is on board with the Occupy movement, one thing is clear. The economy is rough and can be unrelenting to those who fall on hard times. Wealth distribution has been increasingly upside down in recent years, and these protesters are trying to do something about it. They are trying to bring positive change to America that will improve the quality of life and reintroduce genuineness into American politics. Reporting for Channel 7 News on Occupy Tampa, I'm Jake Cooley. Have a great day, Wildcats.